and she um so she is the subject and it's a little bit un unusual for us to be co-directing this together but i think for me it was like the only way to do it properly you know i think i was looking for something different i was looking for a new way to make films and to make documentaries and you know i i i the relationship with the subject is always a little tricky for a filmmaker and you know by choosing to work with Beth Ann, I knew that I was working with someone that I could really trust and that I really admired. And, and um, you know, that together we could come up with something that, that, that felt different. And, um, you know, I think when you look at Beth Ann's life, so much of her life, uh, her, her story, the story we tell in the film is about representation and, um, you know, um, empowering models of color. And so I think for me, it was important to think about deeply what that meant for um, a documentary about her. And I think for me, you know, co-directing, I asked her, and I'm the one who asked her, I was like, co-directing was the way to go. Nice, nice. And like when, when you're sitting down with her, like when, when you're going over everything about her, her, her past till like now and all the stuff that she went through and she she broke into the fashion world and and doing run runways and the, the cat the cat walk and she broke down so many doors barriers being a, a black woman at that era at that time and how does that make you feel like to work with someone who who broke down all those those doors and barriers it was very impressive to me i mean you know like i i came into the project thinking you know that i mean i knew beth ann for a few years and uh she's an incredible personality and you know wit and she just lights up a room and so that's what initially attracted me to her um but then once we made, started making the film and I started going deeper into her story, and as you said, like she's broken so many barriers by herself being a black model at a time when, you know, there were few women who looked like her on the runway. And then opening the door to other black models when she started a modeling agency that was a very diverse modeling agency with, you know, white models, but also black models, Asian models. Um, you know, every every types of beauties um, and then becoming an activist, you know, I started realizing that there was really a through line in her life and how she helped um, create change, you know, for not only for herself, but also for a, a whole generation and then two or three generations uh, after her. And uh, you could see, you know, even in the film, we in the, la in the last act of the film, we really talk about this new generation that's coming up and, and she's yeah. still involved. She's still involved. She's mentoring like young designers and activists. Oh, wow. That's so, that's so awesome. Like to, to know how long she's been doing this for and she, she's not tired of it. She keeps going and she wants to help, help the youth now too. Mm -hmm. Yes, no, she's tireless. And, uh, you know, she's always looking for the next thing to do. It's, it's, it's kind of amazing. Wow. And what do you think about like the positive in, in the flu fluence that she has in the fashion world and, and just for like young, young ma models to look to look up to? She has a tremendous influence, you know, and we uh, we discovered when we started interviewing people um, because it goes very deep and it goes beyond fashion, too. I mean, you know, and uh, we had a list of people we wanted to talk to. And, uh, you know, we um, we didn't have to really uh, insist. People were kind of uh, so enthusiastic about it. they're like Beth Ann of course yeah I'll do it tell me when <laughs> come, come to my house you know and that goes for Zendaya you know um, Naomi Campbell um, you know Iman um, Tyson Beckford Tracy Ellis Ross Whoopi Goldberg they all said yes you know they all wanted to support this person who's uh, supported them in their career oh wow nice 
And what did you love most about making the film and sitting down with her and talking about her past? Like, what did what did you love most about the whole the whole the whole part of the film? Uh, I I really loved um, the the phone conversations we had and we still have. <laughs> you know, when Bethan calls you, it's like you put everything down and for an hour you're just in a different world. And um, you know, I wanted to put the audience a little bit in that in that space, and I started recording all these conversations we're having. That's that's the beauty of co-directing is that we had to be on the phone, uh, uh, you know, quite a lot yeah. to dis to discuss everything. And so we got quite close during those calls and and um and she would share personal stories about the past and things that were happening in the present and you know for me that was the the, the best part getting to know her intimately in those in those moments nice and you know speak of a film and 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 fashion and all that what's your fashion sense like like how do you how do you like to dress? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. You know, I'm not a fashion person per se, but I do like to look nice. <laughs> and I do have a sense of, you know, uh, style somehow, you know, but, um, you know, like it's, uh, I'm not a fashion person per se. Like I don't go to fashion shows. I don't really keep up on everything, all the latest designers and trends and everything. But, but, um, you know, when you're a filmmaker, you're uh, when you have like an eye for you have to have an eye for beauty. I mean, I, at least I do. And I, I'm really attracted to things, uh, artists that are pushing the boundaries and everything. So I do pay attention to uh, some creative people that are, you know, in the fashion world. Nice, nice. And how how long did it take for you to make to make the film? Um, it took um it, it took a th it took at least three years i would say you know from the moment that we really put our mind to it because there were uh we discussed it for a long time and we tried different ways <clears throat> and we you know we met back in 2014 so that was quite a long time ago but i feel like in two in the at the end of 2019 um we really oh, decided yeah. to make this together and so that was three years ago and um you know or i guess almost four now and and then we, it was a long time to sort of raise the money and shoot everything and, you know, get into the festivals. And <clears throat> and now we're like opening in theaters. So that's a, it's a long, it's coming full circle. Wow, that's so awesome. Well, I want to thank, thank you so much for taking time out and, and coming on the show. It was really nice chat. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you, buddy. Have a, <laughs> ha have a really good day. Yeah, you too. Take care.